Hello, happy Friday, and welcome to another tricks for the fall 2021 schedule build. Um, I'm back for some more information, so I have a lot of things to cover, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is how to take a course um, for fall, and it's going to be a hybrid, um, but it's going to be sync online, so we're actually not going to name it hybrid. Um, but we need two lecture portions. So we're going to break, be able to break out the lecture. Um, and we do that in edit configuration so that we can assign 100 minutes or uh, 50 minutes or how many minutes to face to face. And then the rest of the time to synchronous online. So how we need to do that is we need to go into edit configuration. And we have a lecture right here for 150 minutes. So that's just a traditional either three by 50 or two by 75. Um, but we want to add another lecture and nest it underneath. And we want to take away 50 minutes of this first half. So we're only going to do 100 minutes of face to face. And then we need to repeat what we have up there. And then we're going to do 50 minutes of synchronous online. We need to switch that to the need classroom manager. And then we're going to, and again, we're leaving the instructional method as traditional. And we're going to hit update. And then that brings us to um, two subparts. Okay. So then we just to go up here to the top level and we are going to edit that subpart and we're going to give it a uh, two by 50. And we're going to add our time preference in there. And that will allow you to. Um, choose your face-to-face -face day and time for either Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday for 50 minutes both days. Um, we're going to update that, and then we're going to come back out to the instructional offering. We're going to go down here, and this is going to be the part that's synchronous online. So we're going to edit this, and we're going to do a 1 by 50, add that time preference in. And then we also, for the room here, we're going to go ahead and put um synchronous online because we know we don't need a room it's going to be synchronous online so then you come out here and you see here you have the lecture for two by 50 and i'm going to pretend that i'm one of you and that this instructor needs monday wednesday at 11 30 um, in a classroom and monday and then friday at 11 30 synchronous online so update that Come back out to the instructional offering, and you can see here that Monday, Wednesday will be in a classroom. Looks like they're wanting MJS uh, 1001. And then Fridays are going to be um, synchronous online from 1130 to 1220. So that's how you would set it up if it's going to be a face to face and synchronous online. Now, let's say you're starting with this for fall 2021. It's currently a mixture of um, face to face and synchronous, and they want to go back to 100% face to face. So, what you do in that case is again, go back to your edit config. You're going to trash this bottom lecture half, and then you're going to give it back its original 150 minutes all in face to face. And then you're going to have to come up here and do either your um, 3 by 50 or your 2 by 75. And you would put the preference that the faculty want. And then that's how you get it back to 100% face-to-face. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the catalog view. So every course on the instructional offering detail page has um, up at the, in the edit, in the course offering portion at the top has this button underneath catalog. And if you click it, it opens up another screen and gives you uh, important information about the course. So it has the total credit hours, it has the level, it has the schedule types that course can be, the departments that are offering it, any attributes, the learning outcomes, prereqs, the short title. And the short title is where we go when we're actually creating the course. So all courses use the short title. And then this, um, the configurations is how the course is approved to be taught. So this particular course is proved approved to either be a straight lecture or it can also be distance learning as well. So just a little tidbit there that they can um, you can find good, helpful information in the catalog view, which is again on the instructional offering detail page. The next thing I want to talk about 
is room ratio and where to change that. So as you know, right now, um, the highest capacity of room that we have is 250. And some departments are choosing to still um, have 450 or 500 plus kids in particular sections. And they're doing that high flex model where they're rotating the students in and out. But in order to get that section scheduled into a room, because right now all the rooms are only 250 max, you actually have to lower the room ratio so you will actually get scheduled into a room. So in order to lower the room ratio, you go to um, two different places here. You can either go to edit configuration and right here's the room ratio. So you can lower it to half. So you're basically saying, I only need a room for half the size of my enrollment. Or you can also go into class setup and the room ratio is located right there as well. So that's another place that you can um, update the room ratio. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is date patterns. So in unit time, you can see here that um, on the instructional offering detail page, you can see the date pattern. And this particular course, is using the full term date pattern. So that means um, the full semesters, you know, weeks one to six, 15 plus a finals week. Um, sometimes you'll see weeks one to eight or weeks nine to 15. And those are obviously um, only half of the full semester. Um, I'm talking to particular departments that like to use um, what we call special date patterns or date patterns that have particular meet times. So let's actually look up a, I'm going to go to nursing. They have a lot of these. So we're going to find a course here. Oh, right here, right off the bat, 218.01. So you can see here that these clinics have particular special date patterns. So it doesn't look like something you would normally see full term, weeks one to eight, weeks nine to, nine to 15. They actually have specialized date patterns and those all need to be checked. And that is part of the build. Um, we can get into quite a bind if those dates are wrong. Um, and then we are showing wrong instructional days. So um, we really need to have those checked at the time of the build and then corrected if necessary. And any of those date patterns can be corrected by sending an email to your scheduling assistant, either Betty or Robin, and they can get those date patterns updated. A little trick, if you want to actually see the dates, you can click on here and then click on this um, in the edit the class, the class detail page, excuse me, um, right next to the date pattern, you can click on this little calendar icon and it will take you and show you the exact weeks and dates that the core that that portion of the course is slated to be taught. So for this particular clinic, they're only meeting for their clinic on the days that are on the weeks that are highlighted. The rest of the time, they're not expected to be in the clinic. So if that is something that needs to be um, changed or updated, that's again an email to your scheduling assistant at the time of the build to get those appropriately updated. The last thing I wanted to show you for today is the help portion. So a lot of times we might need some, we have a random question that um, during data entry time that you're struggling with, or maybe you can't quite remember how to do something. There's this nice little help section in unit time on the, on the bottom left-hand side. If you click that um, and you open up the manuals, there's several different manuals there that might um, be, a, be of helpful use to you. So one in particular, especially going through the build, is the course um, timetabling data entry manual. So you can just click that and it will open up right in your screen. And there it is. And so it goes and talks about um, all the data entry portions of Unitime. So this is kind of a little helpful hint that um, if you're in the middle and maybe you're working at night or something and you can't quite remember how to do it, check there first and that might end up being useful for you. Well, that's all I have time for today. I'll be back next week with some more tips and tricks. And I hope you all 